This presentation shows you in more technical detail how to use job tickets and smart preflight in an Enfocus Connect environment. It is equally well suited both for users of Connect All and Connect You. It assumes that the viewer is familiar with one of the two products and with the use of smart preflight in Pitstop. One of the powerful new features introduced in Connect is the use of job tickets for all delivery methods. To add your own job ticket, you edit the group list and click on the plus sign. Give the job ticket a name and click Done. It is now available in the drop-down list. Select it, and as you can see, there are no fields in the job ticket yet. Add a field by clicking on the plus sign. You now give the field a meaningful name, and you fill in the desired values for the other parameters. For the Soccer Weekly magazine, it makes sense to define the horizontal size as a number, and as the size is always the same for this magazine, you set it to read only. In this way, you can use it as a variable in Smart Preflight, but for this particular connector, the value is fixed. Do the same for the vertical size. Then add, for example, the week number of the magazine for which the connector user is sending files. You can test the validity of the input by specifying a regular expression that will check that the connector user actually entered a two-digit number. You could, of course, also specify a drop-down list with all week numbers. Suppose you also want to know what type of proof the connector user wants to receive. A hard copy proof or a soft proof? In case he chooses a hard copy proof, you might want to know whether that should be a color accurate proof or just a content proof. Add a field, but now make this field dependent on the previous one and specify that it should only be shown when the parent field is hard copy proof and fill in the options in a drop down list. Add another field that is also dependent and that asks for a mail address to which a soft proof should be sent, and so on and so forth, based on your requirements. To test what you configured, click on Preview. The dialog window, as the connector user will see it, opens, and you can test the dependencies that you have entered. If you want to use the settings of this job ticket to define variables in a variable set, export it. This saves an XML file in the location of your choice. Open or create a variable set from the window menu. In the variable set, you then have to set all the variables of which the values are in the job ticket to job ticket, and you define the XPath to the information in the XML file. Select the XML file you have just saved and browse through its structure until you locate the information you need. By clicking on the correct piece of information in the XML structure, the user interface automatically builds the correct path and the values of the variables are now linked to what the connector user specifies in the job ticket. In the Preflight tab, you obviously have to choose the correct Preflight profile and the matching variable set. When you are using a connection to a switch submit point, the job ticket of that submit point is shown in the list of available job tickets. It's read-only, but for smart preflight purposes, you can use it in exactly the same way as the job tickets you defined yourself. This concludes the presentation on how to use job tickets in combination with smart preflight in a connect you and connect all environment. Thank you for watching this presentation.